Are there any traces of the Tower of Babel as told in the Bible? The stories that were handed down in religious texts often exist in this weird space between history and mythology. The tale of the Tower of Babel from the book of Genesis is one of those narratives that seems to transcend simple categorization, blending moral lesson with a possible historical event. According to the Bible, the Tower of Babel was a structure built by the unified human race in the land of Shinar, likely corresponding to Mesopotamia, to reach the heavens. God, unamused by this display of hubris, confounded their speech and scattered people across the earth, creating the diverse languages we have today. So what about actual physical evidence? Are there remains of such a tower? Well, not explicitly. Archaeology can only take us so far, and it's complicated by the fact that many ancient structures have crumbled to dust or been repurposed for later buildings. However, there is a historical precedent that could have inspired the story. Ziggurats. These massive stepped structures found in ancient Mesopotamian cities like Eridu and Ur resemble the biblical description. The most famous of these is the Great Ziggurat of Ur, near Nasiriya, in present-day Iraq, a massive structure dedicated to the moon god Nana. Some scholars have proposed that the Tower of Babel story references a real ziggurat, possibly Etamananki, a structure dedicated to Marduk in Babylon. This tower was actually rebuilt by Nebuchadnezzar II, making it one of the city's crowning glories. But whether this is the Tower of Babel is a leap of faith, pun intended. In Portland, like many cities, we look back and try to connect our present to the past. But thousands of years and layers of development make it hard to find physical traces. Similarly, the Babylon area has been built over repeatedly for millennia. What remains of ancient Mesopotamia is buried under constant cycles of civilization. So, while the exact Tower of Babel probably doesn't have a neon sign on it saying, I'm what you guys are looking for, we do have ruins that hint at the kind of monuments ancient people could build. That said, we might never truly know if the Tower of Babel was a single edifice, or just a timeless story pieced together from various historical fragments. Either way, its imprint on culture, language, and religious thought is unmistakable.